Hello everybody, this is Sarah Perry, Psychic Medium, and this is your Psychic Astrology Energy Forecast for the week of the 16th to the 22nd of September 2019. Thank you to all of you tuning in today. Hello to anyone new out there, you're very, very welcome, um, and I'm really hoping that you enjoy this vlog. If you do, and if any of you out there that do listen regularly and haven't subscribed, then please do remember to do so. And all of you, please just share, share, share. The more people we get this message out to, the better. This is a very, very important time right now for change. Uh, we have just, well, we're still in the full moon period, really. And this morning I woke up and was given the 16th as a really important day for some very important and wonderful surprises. There's going to be very important documents signed. Um, I'm seeing things changing hands within the government as well. They're showing me political, um, it's like ballots, you know, when, I mean, I know there's an awful lot going on in England right now with Brexit and everything. Um, I will say I don't check it that often anymore, um, but I know the closer we're getting to the end of October, the more things are going to heat up again. And, you know, there's, there's the panic is starting to, to come in again. Um, but I'm seeing it's like somebody like closed bids I'm seeing. Um, and I feel like this is coming from a lot of places. Like people are putting in their, or their silent bids, you know, um, in their envelopes and keeping their identity unknown. So this is showing me that this week things could come through. Um, you know, we could get surprise benefactors helping us out. Um, you know, it's like that thing of like suddenly the sky opening up and miracles falling, which would be wonderful. But it, it the great thing is, is I feel that there's, the energies from the past that are good are returning as we've closed the doors on the less beneficial ones. Um, what is this? The spirit is saying things are coming good. You need to really still be in the moment, still be in the present, still trust, let go of looking, you know, getting up every morning, looking out the window when, you know, when's it going to arrive? When's my parcel going to arrive? That sort of thing. Just get on with things because it's a little bit like a birthday. We know it's coming. And um, when you're a child, it's just like sort of, oh my God, my birthday, my birthday, you know, everything's full of expectation, excitement. And yeah, you're sort of looking for the postman to arrive. And, but you know, it's coming. So although it's great to be excited, there's that sense of like, well, you know, there's nothing I can do about it till the day arrives. And this is what spirit is, is really pushing out to everybody right now. There isn't anything else you can do so stop pushing, just be, you know, do what you've got because so much energy right now is being used to panic of whether something is going to happen, whether we're going to achieve something, is there going to be enough time, is someone going to call us, is, you know, all this stuff, it's like it just going on and on and it's such a waste of time. You can be doing something really exciting like spending some time with close friends, just having a, a lovely happy get together, a little laugh, you know, reminiscing about old times or just generally laughing. How often do you guys laugh? How often have you laughed lately? Um, it's like, you know, I can see like people worrying all over the world. Like it's like they're looking up at the sky, listening to that thunder rolling. Um, now I'm here in Spain and um, for most of you probably saw the news, the horrendous weather that we've had. Luckily, I'm close to it but not close enough um i am nicely on a hill it reminds me I, i've got to admit when, when all this was going on i was thinking about the dreams i had of like you know the, the tsunamis and the being washed away um and i i've got to admit i did hit some real fear at times of oh my god oh my god am i safe um the the vastness of the ocean the vastness of the elements um, it became very apparent um, this weekend. And, you know, normally I'm on the other side of the world from the UK and, and things happen. Obviously, we have um, terrible weather there, but this just felt like I just had no control whatsoever. Um, but I just trusted because I, I just had to keep telling myself, just, you know, sort yourself out, really. <laughs> Listen to yourself, sort yourself out. You just, you're here for a reason. You know, if it's your time, it's your time, just get on with it. But the first thing I thought of, funnily enough, was if something was going to happen to me, I wanted to be with with my husband, actually, the person that I love the most. And um, 
I was actually more freaked out that I wouldn't actually be next to him if something went wrong because I felt like we were, um, well, he wasn't very well actually and I was sort of somewhere else. I kept thinking, oh my God, oh my God, like, get me home, get me home. Um, it does make you, it does bring back what's important. Um, so there's this storm, I mean, we've literally had these lightning storms here. It's, it is, it's happening without the storm. The energy is like that at the moment. It's the rumbling, you know, it's like, I feel like, all the elements are angry. The The universe is angry. It's just going, Wah! you know, come on, you lot. Let's sort this out now. Stop mucking about. See what's important, you know, stick to your priorities, that sort of thing. But what I'm also seeing is a red carpet being rolled out, right? And it's like somebody is just rolling out this beautiful, endless carpet, which is covering the whole of the world. And anybody is welcome to step upon this red carpet and what i'm seeing is all these people standing watching it happening all covered in mud and sopping wet from the rain and ravaged from the stress that's been going on tired from the struggle hungry and in need and everyone's sort of looking at each other in trepidation and going well who's going to walk off the carpet who's going to step onto it and the message here that i'm getting very loud and clear for this week is if you believe, if you really believe in yourself, you will be the one to step on that red carpet. And it doesn't matter what you're wearing, what you've been through, you know, what you appear to others at this point. It's how you are to yourself and whether you truly trust that you are the one walking down it for everybody to, to look at. You know, you're the one that's parading down this red carpet. So the question is this week, are you, do you believe that you're good enough? Do you believe that you should be that VIP? Or do you believe you should be the one at the back of the crowd trying to get through and get a glimpse of whoever's on there? All right. Are you going to put yourself to the front or are you going to stay at the back? Are you going to still be going on about what's happened and this happened and this is so hard and oh my God, I've tried so hard my whole life. Yeah, okay. All right. This has got to stop now. This is what the message is. It's saying just stop and just look. This red carpet is in front of you. These miracles could happen at any moment. There is a chance, an opportunity to grab your dream right now. So step on that carpet. Just take that one step because once you step on it, the whole perspective will be transformed. Suddenly you'll be listening to cheers. There'll be lights going off. You'll look down and see yourself dressed in your finery, feeling amazing. But you have to take that step, all right? And the first step is often the most challenging because it's stepping away from what you know. But once you're on it, you'll realise that actually you knew it all along. You had it all within you because all of that struggle was all about being on that red carpet. Now, this week, we've got such, um, like, expansion, but there is going to be battles going on. Now, these could be your own personal battles or battles with other people. I do see sort of relationship things where people are just misfiring. You know, they're sort of, like, missing the point. Um, this isn't like Mercury retrograde. This is just people standing... Um, you know, some people start coming through in themselves, being standing strong and getting into their power and then having to deal with the masses around them who don't agree, who don't want them to go, who don't want them to move forward, who are too afraid to step up. So this could cause be a little bit of a battle. But the the, the hardest, the, the biggest battle really is the letting go. All right. The letting go of the battle, really. I mean, you don't actually have to have the battle. You just just do it, do what you've got to do. And just trust that if someone is with you and loves you and supports you, that they will follow when they're ready, or they will be there with you, or they'll be holding your hand. Okay, stop preempting things as well. This is another message. There's too much speculation going on. Now, I was saying I was laughing because I think I could put myself out of business as a psychic. But and, and it's great to, to know what's coming. You know, I have readings myself, I sometimes, you know, just to clarify a few things. But we don't need all the details. We just need to know, really, that every, we're on the right track. Um, so 
if somebody gives you a message or someone tells you something, don't start reading into it so much that you're picking it apart. You know, it's like when you tell a joke too much, you'll try and work it out or a magic trick. It just goes awry after a while. It doesn't, it doesn't have the same effect. It doesn't have the same magic. You know, if you're painting, you keep trying to get something right and it was already good to start with, you know, keep overdoing it. You just end up ruining it. Adding too many ingredients to a pot, you know, it just staying out in the sun too long, you know, you start withering away. Just do things, um, tr trust, trust that it's enough, I think. That's, that's what I'm getting through. Um, now, there are some positive surprises coming this week, especially in love. Um, and there is a second chance to renew things. I feel like maybe renewal of vows, going back to basics, starting again, looking at what went wrong, sitting there quietly. It, there is this sense of like the storm has gone over and this week it's going to be clearing up a few bits, just cleansing, um, smelling the fresh air, allowing yourself just to breathe a little bit. And, um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of abundance this week. Um, new beginnings. If, if you have discovered something over the weekend, you know, typical full moon energy, something came to light, Maybe there was a revelation that maybe you weren't over something or, I don't know, you just felt left out in the cold or maybe you, you got some news that wasn't so great. See this as, you know, this is definitely a time to close a door and for it to happen on a full moon is perfect, really. Um, again, looking, think, OK, I'm going to step on the red carpet. They can do their thing. They aren't worthy of me, that sort of thing. Um, there's a bit of jealousy around at the moment. So if you are the one stepping up, if you're listening to this and you're like, yes, I'm going for it. You know, there's going to be people that are going to want to pull you back because they don't have that that strength or they don't have that perspective. Maybe they're going to stay behind. I'm seeing a definite separation here. Again, the ones that step on the red carpet and the ones that choose to stay behind. And it is a choice. That's the whole thing. Nobody's choosing you. The universe isn't going, oh, yeah, you're the one. You've got to do it. We're going to push you. I mean, you'll get a kick forwards. You'll get a little help. We've had a help. We've been helped for, for years. But if you don't want to hear it, ultimately, it's your choice. You can just go, no, I'm not doing it. I'm too afraid. And if that's the case, then you stay where you are. But you'll be OK with that eventually. It's just that there may be a bit of jealousy going on inside you, a bit of envy or thinking, oh, I missed the boat. Um, it's funny, I was listening to something the other day about missing the boat. I've just said that. And they, they made it clear. It's like, if the boat is for you, then how are you going to miss it? So if something's destined, if something is meant to be, it will be brought round again at some point. But if there's like a clear choice that you have a choice and you're at a crossroads, which is where I feel we are now. Yes. Um, if it's destined, then you're, you're very likely to make the right choice, aren't you? It's like trusting that what you're doing is the right thing. But then you'll be aware of that. You, if you're aware of something, if you're aware that you're questioning, you're aware that there's a choice. If you're aware that you could make a, um, a mistake or an error, you're aware. So actually you have the power and the control. When you're completely ignorant to anything and you can't see anything, and you're completely in the dark, then that's when you want to be worried. <laughs> but the thing is, the people that are completely in the dark, don't worry. So it's all OK. All right. Um, so really, really get into that. You know, whenever you feel a bit like um, wishy washy or wobbly this week, just, you know, get your feet back on the ground. So um, new beginnings, new um, abundance around babies. Um, you know, pregnancies, um, new beginnings, new starts, new projects um, are all very, there's a light shining on that this week. Um, I think from sort of Wednesday onwards, things are going to start really getting going. I'm seeing people excited. I'm seeing keys in people's hands, getting excited with their new homes. It's like, again, contracts going through, mortgages, that sort of thing. Um, this is time to play as well. Remember to play um, and have some fun this week. And being in the moment, um, you do have time to play. You know, you enjoy every moment. Um, somebody could return this week Um I feel if you have an argument and someone walks out, I feel that they will come back by the end of the week. Um, the 17th seems to be um, important for this. Fate is turning things around in, you know, in our favour for, for the better way. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of honesty and truth coming out and an emotion, people standing in their own independence and feeling quite strong in that um, and wanting to expand. So the energy's good this week, you know? It's like 
The storm's cleared, still rumblings going on, but it's like the rumblings of drums, you know, it's beating, hearts are beating fast, people are like, yeah, I can feel the change, I'm excited. And, you know, if you can get into that mindset, everything's going to be great. But you are going to learn some important details this week, so that's why it's it's really important to stay in the present. Um, you know, for a very good example, I was watching, I was just standing, chatting to somebody, and then there was, I saw this wonderful grasshopper just in front of me. It was so close. Um, um, and I know people see grasshoppers all the time, but, you know, to just not all the time, though, you know, um, and I took it as a sign because instinctively I thought there is because grasshoppers just jump forwards. It was like it felt like something was about to leap forwards and it was a sign. And um, then I saw a toad and toads are um, auspicious of crossroads and change. So I was just watching for all these things and it can be really fun to do it. So do that, you know, be aware of what's happening, all these little things, because I feel like spirit is trying to bring these messages to us now. So let's look at the um, individual uh, sun signs, um, starting with Aries. Things have flipped over. I feel like the coin has been flipped. Where you always believed it was heads, it's now tails. If you always believed it was tails, it's now suddenly heads. I feel like something that you've gone at a lot or you've you know, it's like when you play the lottery and you do it every week and then you start, to, it's the same thing every week. Maybe you just always won a fiver or maybe you never won. And it's like these weird patterns. Then all of a sudden there's a win, but it's such a big one and it's really flipped over to the other side. Um, this could be to do with friendships. It could be to do with situations regarding work this week. But I, you know, I feel like it suddenly something has flipped. You know, it's like you're looking at the back of a painting rather than the front. You know, you come into your house and everything's upside down. Um, you wake up and you're on the other side of the bed. You know, it's like you you wake up, it's it's 12 o'clock in the midnight rather than 6 o'clock in the morning. It's like everything seems to have gone upside down, a little bit like um, Alice in Wonderland or something. Things may seem very different this week. Things may feel like a bit... Like you're seeing things with new eyes, basically. You're just seeing a situation as it really is. And you are going to see the truth of a situation. Um, I feel that you're, you're going to decide to separate or detach rather than the other way around. You know, it's not like people are pushing you out. You're, you're the one that's going to be like, OK, um, I'm off, mate. You know, that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, it's, it's like you, you'll want to take some time alone. Because you, you'll suddenly understand, you know, for some of you, it'll be the understanding that spirit's there or there's a protector there or you've been watched all along or, you know, suddenly it's just a realisation. You know, this when something flips sides, it's like, whoa, it's like a wake up call, really. So this is a really important week. OK, so don't be, you know, if you're sort of in that place in your mind where you're sort of all worried and scared, you know, you might see these changes. It's like, oh, my God, what's coming in? What's coming in? So see, this is a really good thing because this is you. um changing your frequencies it's it's seeing the light it's coming to the end of a dark tunnel that you've been in for so long you didn't even realize you were in it um you know what i mean it's like you whatever you've been used to is about to change this week um i'm getting the 21st as well which is going to be important to you although we're not um are we going to the 22nd this week i think did i say that yeah 21st so obviously that that's going to be an important um date for you for that taurus um, I feel like you're idly sitting on a stream this week, um, wondering, do I get on the red carpet or do I stay off? Um, somebody wants you to come with them. Somebody wants you on board. Somebody is looking out for you. Um, it's funny, I'm seeing literally a cruise ship, like somebody may come in and offer you a holiday or, you know, I said about these things coming in, these wonderful, you know, some gifts and things. And I get the sense that there is someone out there that does want you. So if you're feeling a little bit like, oh, who wants me? You know, I'm all alone. You know, um, I'm just going to stay here and eat worms. Um, Spirit is saying that there is something out there for you. There is something special that has brought you to this place. And there's a door that's about to open that is really, really special. Um, but you just have to come out of this limbo in a way. Because I feel like you're almost in a place of indecision, but you also don't want to, you don't, you've got your eyes tightly shut and you don't want to go into too much depth or you don't want to, you don't want to know too much. You know, this could be um, even 
something that's come to light, you've heard some gossip and you suddenly don't, you don't want to ask for any more information because you don't want it to be true, you know? It's that sense that you know something is changing, you know something is happening, um, but you just, you're almost shut down. So when I say that there is somebody that wants you, there is something that's waiting there, um, I think the message, the biggest message here is that you, you know, what you're most afraid of is not going to happen. All right. That's what spirit is saying. It's saying, open your eyes, face what's going on, ride those waves because they're only going to get bigger. And actually in your head, they're getting bigger than they actually are. And there's just this light is just to the side of you. You could just step forwards. Um, and it's like you saying, if you're feeling alone, there is someone there for you. You know, there is the job opportunity for you. There is something that is set for you. Um, but you've got to make that choice. Do you step onto the red carpet and see what happens and put yourself in front in the light? light in front of the camera or do you stay where you are where it feels safe all right it's a very important message for you gemini i'm seeing a sense of justice this week i've got the justice card for you uh, but i feel like i see you having a conversation with somebody who's close to you and it's like you're suddenly rising above them where they would seem to be in charge or you felt like they were manipulating the situation you're suddenly going to realize where you placed yourself in this gameplay or this this circumstance um it, i feel this is something that's been going on a long time it could be that you've been trying to fight a battle um it could be um uh, a custody battle it could be that you're fighting for some payment back some compensation um but it could be that you've been wanting something to go right with a relationship you know somebody close to you a friend um it could be you know a family member where you felt like things were just slightly off hill you know and things just aren't right some although you're sort of going along with it you can't seem to find the justice in it and you're not really you haven't been given any answers for so long and then suddenly this week i see you sort of like realizing why that is it's like because where you've placed yourself and where you chose to decide to um you know the positioning you just or the level you put yourself on maybe in between other people's arguments or maybe you put yourself below or less important or valuable to this person um because of duty or loyalty you've you suddenly realize but you don't have to do that that actually that's wrong that's actually that's why the justice hasn't been done because you haven't given the justice to yourself and spirit is saying that this week there is this sense of calm justice coming in where you can sort of settle the score um maybe you're going to you know have a put things right I, I feel like you're putting an offer on the table okay it's like you're saying right this is what i want and these are my boundaries do you agree do you want to sign i'm the law now you know this is my law this is my word and you listen to what it is because this is my world and you need to do abide by my rules so now i'm making a contract for you i'm not waiting for you to decide what you're doing or i'm not going to float around in the middle and listen to what everyone else is saying or feel like i'm the one that's in the wrong here i know what's right and what's wrong and it's like you're rising above all your emotional state like all the emotions are going and then suddenly you're just standing strong and being there where you need to be okay this is time for you to step into your complete complete trust zone and into your own power and trust your intuition that what you know you're doing is right whether it affects that person or that person at the end of the day this is your justice okay that's what's important this week so listen to that little voice when it comes in, you know, that little one that's going, what about me? <laughs> sort of thing. Now, cancer. I feel like the protection has gone down around you. It's like you're opening up to new offers. You're opening up to new energies coming in. Um, because you trust that you, it, it's a real sense of trust this week, that you know you're actually on the right path and you know what's important and what isn't. And that's all you need. You know what's your priority. Um, this is great because I feel like you'll probably be more likely to step onto the red carpet than most. And um, actually, nor you're normally the ones I would have thought would have held back um, because of loyalty or, you know, or feeling that you're letting someone down or, you know, family issues and that. Um, but this week, I feel like you're ready. You know, you're ready. You're ready. You're eager. And 
you're feeling sort of more carefree and more motivated and things are more fun. I'm just seeing a lot of laughter around you and something coming into your hand this week that's really important, a message, um, a contract, um, some money, something that is just going to lift your spirits a little bit more um, and to help you push on. You know, you might, it's like this gift is coming that you can then go out and have a bit of fun, you know, or you can go and buy something special for yourself. Um, this isn't the birthday time, but it's something that comes that you know somebody's just sent you you know it could just be you get a lovely message and it just shows you that you're doing the right thing and you feel like yeah you made the right choices and it's like a bit of a confirmation week but I do see that there's if you really are on the up and you're lifting up you'll you'll find that you'll get the praise the respect and you'll get the gifts that that you need to come in Leo Right, there could be some very, very strong female energy around you this week. Um, I've got like, um, it's like people are clamping down around you. Um, it's like I literally got cars being clamped here. So if yours has been clamped, I'm sorry, uh, don't park it there. Um, but it's the sense that people are starting to try and get order and they're all sort of being, they, you may find that they're all a bit, I don't know, too structured, you know, that you're within um a situation that just feels a little bit boring actually it's not very creative it's all a bit dull it's it's mundane it's like a factory but it's the way it is you know but it, at the same time it's quite heavy energy as well um and i see you sort of opening your eyes to actually what you've been missing it's quite important I feel like you're going to have to be strong with your ideas if you've got to put something out there. Spirit is saying, go and do it, even though if you feel like it's not going to be heard, because that's how you're going to feel this week. Like, oh, well, no one's going to hear it because no one has. And, oh, God, that person doesn't even notice me. You know, it's like I'm seeing someone like in, in a working position where the the manager is just not really paying attention because there's too much going on. And it's all, you know, it's the same. It's like, you know, if you're in a, a workplace and the manager's, no, no one really cares about the workers as a person you're just a number it's that type of thing that's how I'm getting that sense it's like but you've got a great idea that you could change things and I'm seeing this sense of urgency of thinking you know I could just make this place have color where it's so black and white right now and I just feel like you need to be strong in yourself mentally strong and override all these feelings that you're maybe not valuable that you have got you know your ideas are going to work because I actually feel you'll be heard and I really feel it will be welcome. So you don't have to go in all, you know, guns blazing or anything. Just go in and just show yourself. I, th I think the reason you haven't seen is because you haven't shown who you are. You've stayed in that crowd. And again, this is that red carpet thing. You know, it's like you need to get to the front now. You know, if you're a reporter, get to the front of the queue. Don't let the, the big um, tabloids get it. You might only be a small local paper, but... You've got a voice, you've got skills, you've got knowledge. It's time to get forward and do it. So Virgo, um, you are, this is an expansive week for you and I feel like there's an idea and, and something you want to do. You may want to travel, you may want to do. I just, Suddenly it's going to come into you and you'll think, this is what I need to do. I need to just go forwards um, and regardless of anybody else. Now, I know that some people aren't going to like it, but I do feel there's going to be a separation this week where you have to step back. Um, let them get on with it and I just feel like you're carving they're showing me somebody carving um, a new map in the sand and looking beyond and looking down another path that hasn't even been built yet um, but as you tread on it it gets bigger and bigger and bigger there's going to be some luck this week I feel from female energy again I've got um, maybe a buyer coming in an offer coming in or an opportunities they're showing me a door just swinging open all of a sudden and you could just flip through it without anybody seeing it's that quick um and they're saying if you want this you've got to go for it you know and you've got to put all this emotional stuff aside and what other people want because this is your time but it will cause a bit of a separation because it's going to be a change of pattern but we saw this in the main things it's second chance to alter that pattern something is coming around again it, it's like i feel like the world we're giving it's funny, it's like from 2014 onwards, the last five years, it's almost like we're going back to for that time and we can now readdress it, what we didn't do. So take some time to look over that period of time and what you did and what happened and put some, you know, some um, write down some important points because it really will help. 
Libra, there's a message coming for you. This is to do with younger people, new ideas, new projects, maybe news of a pregnancy, maybe um, uh, all of a sudden there's a twist to everything. Um, you know, you thought you were pregnant with one child and it's twins, um, or you didn't thought it was going to happen and it did, or you thought you'd had a miscarriage. And it, do you know what I mean? It's this sense of like a little twist of fate, which just works in your favour, where you thought something wasn't going to work, suddenly it does. Um, I'm also seeing new learning here, people thinking about starting courses, getting excited getting creative this is a great week to carve out a new you know a new career if that's what you want um, if something isn't working I feel like you know it's, it's like when you wash something too many times it doesn't it just doesn't you can't you can never get rid of that grease stain you know it doesn't matter what you put on it it's like no it's time to go this is a sign I need new things um, so do some clearing this week and um, get creative. Um, I can see a lot of inspiration around you and new ideas. So this is a real sense of rebirth for you. This is exciting. So we've got here victory for Scorpios. Woohoo! All the cards going up. Um, you may not see it straight away. I think there could be some things that come in that you you sort of maybe think, oh, is that really that good? Or it doesn't feel like a massive. You know when you're waiting for that massive event to happen and then it just literally falls on your lap and then you go oh what's that because you're so in this other zone and this this is a real push to get into that positive zone to get into that higher frequency just think everything's wonderful my day's wonderful everything is manifesting i'm just bringing it in and i'm just enjoying every single moment because you don't want to miss those moments because all those moments are signs and they're all times of gratitude so just drawing that gratitude um it's like suddenly you're picking the winning card and everything's set out and it's a sign, you know, when things change like that and you suddenly get a win. So say say you, I don't know, we're doing bingo or some competition and then suddenly you just get, you get the biggest win. You've only been getting a little bit to start with or you get dribs and drabs. It's like that was the sign that the win's coming, but you had to shift something to get the bigger one. You had to just up your value even more. OK, so let go of what everybody else thinks and what they're doing. It doesn't matter anymore. Just focus on what's good for you for every minute of the day, because this week, be this whole next two weeks for you guys is, is going to be fabulous. Um, Sagittarius, you need to take a bit of rest this week. I feel like a bit of an R&R &R is going to help. Uh, but relaxation, but you can still be creative. You can still be doing things. But, you know, if you're off work and you're just at home, you're potter. I feel like you need to be painting or coloring adding color to things adding something to your decor thinking about how could i make that better how can i make that stand out better how can this feel more cheerful um i just think you know wandering around window shopping would be quite nice a day out with the girls um if you can take a couple of days a weekend away or something i'm seeing for some of you european trips that if you go and have a look you might get a really good deal this week um definitely offers special offers in the shops things like that it feels like you just want to be like if you can take time out or you can enjoy your time out especially lunch times at work or after work um, you know instead of just sitting in front of the tv if you are going to sit in front of the tv make it a great time to sit in front of the tv like watch a really exciting movie together or you know make popcorn have a great meal do make everything really special this week give your brain a rest and just enjoy the flow all right because i just feel you've earned some time out and um, things have been really on the go. There's been a lot of stress about. And I feel like it's time now to just enjoy being alive. OK, <laughs> it's really important. Capricorn. Um, I feel like you're not seeing where things aren't working somehow. There's something that's boring you or something that isn't working right now. And this is to do with your personal life. Um, I don't mean necessarily relationships, but it is in your general day to day life, maybe hobbies or work. Um, I just see you getting things like every now and again, you know, you may be in the kitchen, for instance, and something you've used at all, like um, a tin opener or something, hasn't been, has worked beautifully for years and years and years. It's been for all the generations and suddenly you get out of the drawer and it's just, you realise when you're opening a tin with it, it takes forever because the model's really old. And I just sense that you're seeing things as old you know it's like that's old it's done i don't need it now this is to do this could be to do with your own home it could be like you've been fighting for something for so long you've wanted it for so long it's so important to you but actually it's just a house you know it's like well actually it's all a bit bland actually this is old this is old energy you know 
Maybe it's not the house it's sold. Maybe it's just like you've moved on. You've moved out of it. You've grown bigger. There's people around you. You're just going to think, oh, it's really boring now. You know, I don't know why I'm hanging around with this person. Why do I do this day in, day out? Why do I, help, you know, go around and go on a shopping trip with this person every day? And I've been doing it for years, but actually I'm not even enjoying it. I just do it because it's a, a, you know, you're going to really look at these patterns this week. And I'm seeing you looking for some old dreams and ideas, pulling them out of yourself, maybe old diaries, journals, looking at old ideas, notes that you made about something and start thinking, actually, you know, this is a good time to do this. This is a good time to paint that room because it's been sat there like a junk room forever. It's boring me now. You know what I mean? It's like everything needs a bit of a facelift. Um, Aquarius. You're on a journey this week. There's going to be lots of options opening up and you're going to be put in the position of making decisions for yourself. Um, it's almost like saying, you know, a boss turning around to you and saying, right, here are your two fellow employees next to you. Which one do you think should be promoted? I'm going to leave the decision to you. And I feel like things are being put on your responsibilities being given to you. So you, you, you speak your truth. So... You say what you believe that, you know, there may be things you've been thinking of and thinking, God, I wish I could have a say. I wish I could do that. And, you know, if I if I was the boss, I'd do this and this. And now spirits going, all right, off you go. Go on now. You've got a chance. We're giving you the opportunity. Do it. Don't waste this opportunity. Um, and, and that's a really big message. Don't waste the opportunities given to you if you're given a chance to step into someone else's shoes for a week and show what you're worth and what you can do. Then do it well. Go for it. Don't sort of think, oh, well, it's only for a week. So what's the point? You know, think, well, actually, this could change my life because there's twists of fate and things coming in that could change all of a sudden overnight. And you may find that you stay in those shoes and you don't come out of them because I feel like this is a step up. This is time for you to step more into your power and you're being given that, that open doorway. Pisces, last one. This is um, Pisces Moon. Um, I'm seeing a lot of celebration here. I feel like you've got to be on the highest of the high, as in the most positive you can be. You don't want to la let your doubts get to you at all. Um, the vibrations are so strong for you this week from this full moon. Um, and I don't feel it's as easy for you to maybe get your practical boots on. Spirit show me that you need to walk. You need to be physical. You need to be near the ground. You need to get outside. You need fresh air. Don't allow your thoughts to take over because I think that you could overthink things. It's like you're either downloading so much information or you're just over inspiration or over creative and everything's getting into a bit of a mush and then you're getting all these emotions come up stuff from the past stuff from the present and you need to be they just show me hiking boots you know you need something you need strong protective wear you need to be going out feeling sturdy you know make sure everything is safe when you're going out you know that you've checked the car you've checked the fuel you've got to be quite structured this is what they're saying also although um there's this element of trust going on which obviously you do it's trusting that you get you take the time to get the structure right so what spirit is really saying is be grounded you know this is like a time to really center yourself and to be sure about what you want and to protect yourself from the weathered storms and from the other people's emotions and their influences um and know that what your that little voice inside you is telling you is is the truth the real truth so thank you guys for listening that's the end of the reading for this week i wish you all wonderful wonderful love and light and if you would like a private reading just go to my website um, you can just make a payment on there just press a button and also check out all my programs and workshops that are coming in and do subscribe to the website you can get a free question yay um and then you'll get all the updates of everything that's going on have a great week bye for now